What drove 24-year-old Randy Stairs to kill three of his co-workers as well as himself at the Wise Markets grocery store? Let's find out. Randy Stairs was born on September 17, 1992, in Pennsylvania. Growing up, Randy had a hard time making friends and was often bullied. Randy also suffered from mental health issues early on in life, but he was never treated. Looking for an outlet, Randy turned towards cartoons and YouTube. Randy had big dreams of becoming a YouTube star and has made several YouTube channels. His YouTube content mainly consisted of dark comedy and vlogs. Randy had a few popular videos, but was never a huge content creator on YouTube like he so desperately wanted to be. Towards the end of Randy's YouTube career, he became obsessed with a popular kids show on Nickelodeon called Danny Phantom. Randy would draw inspiration from the show Danny Phantom and used the characters from the show in his YouTube videos often. While pursuing his YouTube career, Randy's mental health was also simultaneously on the decline. Randy suffered from depression and gender dysphoria. He kept a journal and in it he would express his fantasies about killing himself as well as other people. Randy also wrote about his deep admiration for Eric Harris and Dylan Kelbold, the men behind the Columbine High School Massacre. It is suspected that the Columbine High School Massacre was one of Randy's main influences behind his mass shooting. On the evening of June 7, 2017, Randy arrived for his late night shift at Wise Supermarket in Eaton Township, Pennsylvania. During closing time, at approximately 11 p.m., Stairs went to the back of the store to the crew area and blocked an emergency exit at the far back of the store. He then continued with his duties, stocking shelves, and cleaning up. At around 12.10 a.m., Randy then went back to the crew area in the rear of the store, blocked the remaining exits, and then locked the automatic doors at the main entrance to the store. Randy then pulled out two pistol grip pump action shotguns that he had concealed in a duffel bag and proceeded to walk around the store and kill three of his employees. Randy killed Victoria Brong, Brian Hayes, and Terry Lee Sterling. Randy then approached another co-worker, Christan Newell. She was unaware of the shooting due to her listening to music at the time with headphones while stocking and labeling items on the shelves near the rear of the store. Randy could be seen on CCTV surveillance camera footage standing behind Newell as she worked for about five seconds before he proceeded to the next aisle. After this, Randy proceeded to fire at some glass and other merchandise in the store. He shot multiple propane tanks, but none of them managed to explode. Around this time, Newell figured out what was going on and was able to escape the store by removing the display at the entry doors and breaking the glass door. She then ran outside and hid behind some bushes and called 911. After a short period of time, Randy concluded his shooting of the store's contents. Randy then went to the deli section of the store 
and shot another group of items. While Miss Newell was on the phone to the police, Randy placed his loaded shotgun into his mouth and fired a single round, killing him instantly. Thank you for watching our video. If you enjoy our content, please like, comment, and subscribe below.